Hello floss tube. My name is Amy Michelle. This is my channel Amy M Makes, all about cross stitch. And today I also have knitting and crochet to share with you. Uh, this is floss tube number four. It has been four weeks since I did my last video. I had planned to come back in a couple of weeks, but it just didn't happen. Um, with being under the weather, with Easter, uh, school planning, life, all the things, um, I didn't have a whole lot to share either. I still don't have a whole lot to share, but um, I thought it would be fun to pop on and sh share all of my cross stitching and the knitting and crochet that I've been up to in the last four weeks. Uh, if you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you taking the time to check out my channel. Hopefully you find something that you like, that you enjoy watching. Um, if you're returning, thank you so very much for returning and watching another video, spending some time with me. I am just thankful that all of you are here and willing to share your time. I know time is precious and so thank you for spending some with me while I share my projects. I'll start with my finish for cross stitch, which came out of the cross, just cross stitch spring 2024 issue, um, was Quaker Easter egg from KEB studio creations. Uh, and I finished it, but I didn't fully finish it. And actually I could use tips advice. Um, I don't know what I want to do with it. So there's two reasons I haven't FFO'd this piece. One is I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it, uh, how I want to finish it. And I haven't come across any great ideas that, to, to do with it. And the other one is since Easter is over, I didn't have a whole lot of motivation to finish it like speedily. Um, and so... So let me know if you have any ideas in the comments below of ways that you would finish that piece. I would very much appreciate it. Um, I'm running low on ideas. <laughs> so yeah, let me know. Um, I finished this, or this was stitched on 14 count vintage country mocha Ada. And um, I used Classic Colorworks Rod and Reel and Marvelous for the two colors. And then um, I used beads that coordinated from Mill Hill. So that's how I did that one. Um, and then the next piece I did was from the Prairie Schooler. It's called Acorns. Which I've shown in past floss tubes. Um, I have done, let's see. The house was the last one that I had finished. I'm terrible at that, <laughs> sorry. Um, it's a struggle today. Um, there's the squirrel and the house. There we go, that's better. All the called four colors. And then I also did the crow and the pumpkin. And then what I did in the last four weeks was this little like motif. Um, I am stitching this on 18 count Rustico Natural Ada and enjoying it. Um, I'm going to wait until they're all done. I have two more to do before finishing them, fully finishing them. Um, so that is my, it's sort of a whip, sort of a finish. Because um, I, I wanted to finish the whole, all six of them, all six designs. So I still have the Cornucopia and like the tree with the little, I'm thinking pilgrims. So those I'll do sometime in the next few months. Um, and then the other, let's see, what else have I been working on? Um, the other whip that I have is I Am Brave by Emily Call Stitching. And I have this one digitally I bought from Etsy. And I changed the colors. I bought, what did I buy? Classic Colorworks Jakey Brown. Um, and I realized I might not have enough floss. I only bought one and I'm stitching it on Charles Craft 16 Count Fiddler's Cloth Light Oatmeal. 
And I started to look at the skein and look at what I had left and think, oh, I don't know if that's going to be enough. So I pulled out DMC 640 and DMC 152. So I did these, like it's kind of an olive green. And then I added some of the light pink for the flowers to make sure that I had enough floss. Because I didn't want to buy more. And I also thought it would be kind of fun to mix up the colors a little bit more. So that's I Am Brave. And then the last project that I've been working on is Kind Words by Primrose Cottage Stitches. And I'm doing this one for Katie the Novel Stitcher's Stitchy Book Club, which has been so fun. I'm loving participating in it. Um, we're reading a single thread and she's got all the information and the description of the book and everything on her floss tube. So if you're interested, go check her out. Um, it's going in April and May till the end of May. So there's still plenty of time if you're interested in hopping in. Um, it's been fun. Um, and here is my progress. I'm stitching it with the Call For Fabric, which is a 25 count white Lugana and all the called for DMCs. I forgot to read off what this kind words stitch says by Primrose Cottage Stitches. Um, it says, kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul. So that is what that one will say. This is the first time I've stitched, oops, first time I've stitched on Lugana and I'm really, really enjoying it. It's been a lovely fabric to work on. I'm glad that I started with the 25 count. I think I'd like to try 28 count next. I've stitched on 28 count linen before and enjoyed it, um, but I think I like this Lugana even better. It just feels nicer. I feel like I get less um, knots and things in my floss. I don't know, is that a thing? Is the fabric effect how your floss knots up? It, feel, it feels like it is for me. So let me know, <laughs> let me know in the comments too. Um, how would you finish the egg? <laughs> and um, have you found any correlations between the fabric that you're stitching on and the floss behaving itself? So um, that is it. That's all the stitching that I've been doing in the last four weeks. And uh, my plans are to keep working on I Am Brave and Kind Words. And I'm starting to feel a little bit, hmm, not necessarily bored, but just ready for something new. So um, I am hoping I'll get my copy of Just Cross Stitch, the summer edition soon. It hasn't arrived yet, but there's a couple of patriotic stitches in there or um, bee related stitches I think would be fun to do. So that if that comes soon, I'll probably start stitching something from that. If not, I'll pull out one of the um, the projects I have kitted up and ready to go. So yeah, so that's stitching. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and transition over to knitting. So if that is all that you wanted to see, just cross stitch. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time again, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Um, if you're interested to see what I've been knitting and crocheting, then stay, keep, keep around. <laughs>
in Frisia's. And then this is a Cascade Heritage yarn. Um, I was close to running out because I used some of this yarn for another project um, and wanted to knit a pair of socks with what I had left. Um, and I didn't think I'd have enough, so I added these stripes at the bottom of the toe. But I love the pattern. It's a wonderful pattern. Um, I love having a pair of socks on the go pretty much at all times. It's a great travel project. It's easy to work on. Uh, so I like sock patterns that are easy to memorize. Um, this The next sock pattern, once I finish those, I cast these on. These are for my husband. Uh, it is the Slip It Simple sock pattern. So I finished this one and I keep it in this project bag by So Happy Creative. I have this much done on the second sock. I like doing socks one at a time magic loop. I have done two at a time magic loop and um, when it gets to the heel flap and gusset, which is what I like to do, um, it just gets a little more fiddly than I want it to be. So I do one at a time and that's worked great for me. This yarn I actually got at um, the Alpaca and Fleece Festival in Maryland last fall from Granite Mountain Fiber Co. It is in the color Persid. Persid? How do you, I don't know how you say that, like a like the meteor shower, right? So I don't know how to say that, but um, I love the yarn, love the pattern. It's been really fun to knit. So those are my socks toss them out of the way. And then next I worked on the Pay It Forward shawl. And I will put a picture here of what that project looks like. Um, and this is my progress. I love the pattern. I've actually done a test knit for Wolf and Fawn before and loved, loved their design. I love all their designs and um, it's just a joy to knit. The colors, let's see, what am I using? I actually, I pulled out two other projects that I had finished to, to have the yarn to work on this shawl, shawl scarf, shawlette. Um, the blue is Blush Fiber Co. Don't know the color, I don't remember the color. If I can, I'll find it and post it on my Ravelry page. And then the this color was back when um, Knit Crate was around. It was a Knit Crate yarn. Let me see if I have the colors. Oh, I have the labels. That'll help. <laughs> Blush, the blue is Blush Fiber Co. in the color Leaf Hopper. And the Knit Crate yarn is Uru Yarn, their Yarn Scoot Sock. Color is Positive Change. So those are the colors. Oh, I'm keeping that one in my Ravenclaw, because I'm a Ravenclaw uh, project bag. Let's see, what else have I been working on? Um, I've been working on was the name of the pattern. Fluffy Poof Cardi. And I'll put the picture of what that looks like here. Um, and I am knitting that out of Knit Crate, not, not Knit Crate, excuse me, Knit Picks Up Cycle Alpaca Blend in the color Sandalwood. So that's that yarn. And this is my progress. I'm working on the collar. I've got the body done. I haven't done the sleeves. And I'm working on the collar. So that's what I've got. I'll put a picture. I tried it on, I think yesterday. And I'll put a picture here of me where that was at yesterday. I'm hoping to finish the collar in the next day or two and then start working on the sleeves. 
um, it's going really quickly. When did I start? Let me see if I can find when I started. Well, I mean, I started in the last four weeks. <laughs> so in the last four weeks, um, I've got the body of the sweater done and the collar almost finished. And I just tapped the sleeves and then, let's see, that one is living in this project bag that I got off of Etsy, which I think is adorable. Um, and then the last project has been my crochet blanket, which I showed last floss tube. And I was here where the yellow marker is, and I just have done a bit more. So again, this is a really, really simple, all double crochet blanket with a random stripe generator. Um, let's see if I can show more of it. It's been a really fun project to do that doesn't require any thinking. So um, the other ones though um, have had sections like the pay it forward shawl and the fluffy poof cardi have had times for sure where I can like read and work on it. It's just simple stock in it, um, which has been nice, but with enough interest that I don't get bored. So, um, so that is all of my knitting and crochet over the last four weeks. Um, if you stuck around, thank you so much. I appreciate you watching both cross stitching and knitting and crochet. Um, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week, wonderful couple of weeks until I'm back. Uh, and then after that too, of course, but, um, stitching, knitting, reading, crocheting, whatever it is that you are um, enjoying. I hope that you're finding a lot of joy in it. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.